afternoon baseball here on the show. Ought to be a good one here between the Houston Astros and the Texas Rangers. Digging in now, Michael Brantley. He will lead this one off today. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Underway now in the Sunday finale as the game's first pitch is taken for ball one. And now this misses as well as he's behind the leadoff man this afternoon. 2-0 and now. Mm, much too quick on the trigger there. It's 2-1. and one. Our temperature a very comfortable 72 degrees as we get things started. Skied into straightaway right. Chu has a read on it. One away. And that'll bring up the former first rounder Alex Bregman. Lifetime versus Jordan Lyles. He's two for three. He's taken him deep once. And that's inside for a ball. 1 0. Bregman is one of the few true superstar hitters in the game. You're no doubt aware of it, but it doesn't matter who he's facing. He's a major league threat to hit the ball hard somewhere just about every time he steps into the box. Yeah, one of the best hitters and, and truly blessed by the gods, but I don't think people realize the amount of time and effort this guy has. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. This is swung out, and here's another fly ball out to right field. Shinsu Chu there to play it, and that's out number two. So up to the plate next will be Jose Altuve, swinging it well in the series so far at a four for ten clip. And it's fouled away. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch fouled off. Hey three foul balls in a row right here searching for that put away stuff. High in the air out to center field. Santana is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Stepping in Elvis Andrews. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here it comes now to Andrews. The 1 0. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. And that'll get down for a base hit. So now to the plate, Matt Duffy. Pitch out, nothing doing. Andres on at first, nobody out. A ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with a bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Hit swung on and missed the throw. And it'll be too late to get Andrus as he's safe at second base. The 2-2. Two -two. No one out with a runner at second. Stays alive, still two and two. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Runner in scoring position at second with one away. And into bat next, former Dodger minor leaguer Willie Calhoun. Here comes the first pitch. Fastball laid off well below the knees. That swung on and missed, and we're even at one and one. Classic case of the front shoulder flying open on that off speed. Needs to stay compact and stay in a big part of the field. 
This one's down to third. Throw gets him. Two down. So that brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo. He's driven in four runs on four hits to this point in the series. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And this is taken outside for ball one. One ball, no strike. Two and zero, oh the count to the Rangers left fielder. Pretty good pitch right there, fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Two and one after the foul ball there. Counts even two and two to Joey Gallo. Two out here and a runner at second. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. Striding in for Houston, Jordan Alvarez. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Jordan. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. That's the ball. One and oh. Two oh, and oh ball. now. Alvarez, a Cuban-born ball player. This is his second year as a major leaguer. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Looking up is the center fielder. On to the lawn and gone. Now the Cuban import Yuli Gurriel. The first base yes, he'll take a look at ball one. He's got that batting average up over 350 now. Six home runs and 11 RBIs. A ball and a strike to count to the Astros' first baseman. The 1-1. One, one. Well, I'll tell you, if he wants to turn things around, that pitch is one he's going to have to start locating a lot better. Now a curveball here, nowhere close. That's in the dirt. It's three and one. This is where you cash your checks right here. Three one. You're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. Inside, he misses ball four. The center fielder, number four, George. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. George Springer stands in as he looks at ball one here. Now the one zero. -oh. Is laid off, but in there for strike one. One and one. Ooh, that's a good pitch to take a hack at right there. Change up, up in the zone. Eh, he'd like to have that one back. And he fouls this one off. To two balls and two strikes now. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. And a full count to George Springer. It's three and two. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. And he lays off there, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. He's hitless in the first two games of the series. 0 for 8. He's set. Here it comes. Looking at his career totals, Correa has just over 100 career home runs to his credit. Not where you want the changeup, but he gets away with it for a strike. Correa, who's sometimes called Show Rea, this is his sixth season for him in the big leagues. High in the air down the right field line. Chu is over near the stands as he makes the catch for the first down. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. And they're runners at the corners now. First delivery to him on the way. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. Hey, this is a spot as a pitcher right now. You want to get a little bit greedy. Ideal would be to roll up a two ball. At worst, try to get yourself a strikeout. Behind 0 and 2 now. And a breaking ball down and in here as he's got to hop out of the way there. Well, this team, they're swinging at everything, but that pitch was just a little too far out of the strike zone. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. 
He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0 2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. Heading out towards shallow right. Chu has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And he'll think better of trying to score as he holds it third with That's two enough. away now. Protected. Into the box, Garrett Stubbs. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. And he gets ahead 0-1. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he'd swing at that one. Line toward the gap in left center. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. The left field. Here's Michael Brantley. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Chew a note of Brantley. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Chu has a read on it, and that ends the inning. Next for the Rangers, Danny Santana. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. One and out. Looked like a slider, perhaps, but it missed badly, and it's 2-0. and And now a pitch on the way. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And there's one down now. So digging in now, Shin Su Chu is ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Now the pitch. Ball high. The 1 0. Is belted, and take a look at this. Deep to right center field, and it's gone. Now, Ronald Guzman. She'll take a look at a slider that can't make it back to the corner. It's ball one. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. And 2 0 as this one's taken low. And not the kind of swing you're hoping for on 2 0 as they bunch him up inside. It's 2 1 now. Not much you can do with that one. Tied him up in knots. Fouled away. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. Robinson Chirinos, the number eight hitter here, waits on deck. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Into the box now, Robinson Chirinos. He went deep in the contest last night. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And it's fouled away. Oh, and one delivery. One and one. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Brantley on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. So next to the plate for Texas, Rugnit Odor, who takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. From the stretch. Now Odor turns on one and sends it to deep right. Back goes Reddick to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Next up for the Strohs, Alex Bregman. He'll stand in to open things up here in the third. First pitch of the at-bat. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. 
counts even one and one to Alex Bregman. So one one. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. One out now in the Houston third, and that'll bring in Jose Altuve. Here's the first pitch to him. No, that's outside. Ball. Now the 1 0. He's outside for a ball. If you've been paying attention, the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. High in the air out to center field. Santana is camped under this one, and he's got it for out number two. Now the Astros' designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Boy, this guy right here on that last AB. How about straightaway center field? He hits a bomb. And as a pitcher, you're trying to pitch to the big part of the ballpark. But a guy like this, if he has pop to hit it out to center field, I might have to think pitching this guy down and away down on the corner. Nope. 3-0. and oh. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four-pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. 3-1 and one the count now. And a full count now, three and two. Wow, not sure what they're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Bottom of the inning now. Coming to the plate now, Elvis Andrews. One for one after a single this first time up. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Andrews playing here in his age 31 season. This is his 12th season in the big league, so he's put together a really nice career to this point. Yeah, Matty, this guy has had an amazing career. And you know what? It's a testament to how hard he's worked. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. The third baseman, number six. At the plate, Duffy. Matt Duffy. And this one's in the dirt. And a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. A two-to-one score here as we play inning number three. Changeup stays outside and he's behind 2 0. Duffy, often known as the Duff Man in baseball circles, he was taken in the 18th round during the first year player draft of 2012. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. A designated hitter, number five, Willie. And here's the former prize Dodger prospect Willie Calhoun. Ball one to start the at bat. A ball and no strikes. Here it is. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. It's a ball and a strike. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And a relay to the plate. And this will get into the books as a sack fly and an RBI. And we are tied at two. So we're back to even now after the sack fly. And next it'll be the outfielder, Joey Gallo. First pitch of the at bat. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. Throw gets him. Two down. Now to the plate, Danny Santana. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First delivery to him on the way. In the dirt and blocked behind the plate. And no advance, it's ball one. Fouled off. A 
ball and two strikes now. Just a bit low. A tough call, but it's two and two. He got ahead with two good fastballs and then tried to drop the change up to see if he'd be out in front. Did a great job of laying off that pitch right there. Interested to see where he goes now. And it's three balls and two strikes to the Rangers center fielder. The payoff pitch. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Now that Shinsu Chu at the plate now. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Going back to that last A-B, that was the express. That was an upper 90s fastball that he turned around. So I think with this guy, you might want to try to incorporate some more off-speed pitches. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. with a two ball one strike count here a time to start making some quality pitches he finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base good slider there but laid off and called the ball low couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit it now three and one two on he's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here and he misses again ball four and that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball Looking to minimize the damage here. Ronald Guzman is in with two away as he takes a ball 1-0. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Guzman, a 25-year-old, he's in his third season as a major league player. A two and one count to the Rangers' first baseman. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Strike two as the fastball is let go. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. Now at the plate, Robinson Chirinos. Over one for him here in this one. He's set. Now the pitch. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Coming up now on 30 pitches in the inning. Called strike 0 and 2. A strike away now from getting out of this mess. Sometimes pitching is all about minimizing, right? So keeping it to two runs across in the inning would be huge. One and two to the Rangers catcher. A one-two pitch. This is a huge pitch right here. I don't think he wants to go three-two and have those runners be in motion. Look for him to be aggressive with what he thinks is his best pitch right now. And he fouls this one off. The 2-2 pitch. Wow, these guys are really grinding out their bats in this one. They're not making any outs easy to get. And that, of course, is having a huge impact on the pitch count. Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded. The side is retired. Set for the start of the fourth. Stepping up now, Yuli Gurriel. He reached on a walk in his last time up and later came around to score. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk. Coming right after him here. Here's George Springer. Down the line and fair. That's a hit. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Here's Carlos Correa now. And he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. 
That's wide 2-0. Oh. He's going to have to have a talk with the umpire after this half inning. Because if he's not going to get those calls, he's got to come a little bit more over the heart of the plate. And that usually means damage done. 3-0 oh. oh to him now. From the belt, the pitch. Full count now, three and two. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. Standing in, Josh Reddick, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Reddick waiting, and now the pitch. One and up. And it's belted high and deep into right center. And that is off the wall. On to second, but he's in safely as they take the lead with two runs scoring on the play. Garrett Stepping in now, Garrett Stubbs. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Stubbs is five foot ten inches tall, bats left, but throws right-handed. He was an eighth-round selection back in the 2015 MLB draft. Hey, this guy's got a chance to be an absolute steal. Being drafted where he was. There are definite signs that he has a chance to make an impact at the big league level. A two and two count to the Astros catcher. Swung on but fouled off to the left. Four runs, five hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. And he goes and chops this one out towards second on the first, and there are two down. So it's back to the top of the order now, and Michael Brantley settles in to hit at the plate. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. And this is just off the outside corner, ball two. This offense is absolutely feasting on these count leverage situations. If he's going to have any chance of feeling good about his effort tonight, this pitcher has got to get back in the strike zone. Alex Bregman would be next. Three balls, no strikes. Three and one to him now. Three and one, here it is. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And that'll bring up Alex Bregman. He's set and the pitch. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go. 2 0 now. From the stretch. Nope, ball. You look in the dugout, you can tell that manager's getting ready to come out on that top step. If he doesn't get out of this situation right here, and it's a tough one, I think yeah. the bullpen comes in. A strike, and it's 3 and 1. Called a strike and it's full three and two. Full count. Three two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Swung on and hit deep to left center. This one has a chance. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. Colby Aller answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And they go away here. It's a cold strike, nothing in two. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. 
And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout, and the play at first goes 2-3 to three for good measure as the inning is over. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. At the plate, Rupna Dodor flied out in his first at-bat, so make him 0-1 for 1 so far. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. 2-0 now. Here it comes. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Back goes Springer at the track, but he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. The batter, Elvis. Here's Elvis Andrus now. High in the air out to center field. Springer is right there, one down. Digging in and looking for more, Matt Duffy will try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. As he arrives at second without a play, as a run will score on the play as well. A designated hitter, number five. Willie Calhoun. Into the box, Willie Calhoun. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. One and one. Right. In for strike two. Rip down the first base line. And a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by him a base hit. He's in at second safely as a run also comes in to score, making it a two-run ball game. Here's Joey Gallo now. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. That's what you call a challenge fastball right there, boys. I don't know if he was necessarily trying to miss up in the zone like he did, but he got away with it right there and put the fastball by him. Now another 0-2, and a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Digging in the switch hitter, Danny Santana, comes into this at bat 0-1 for 1 in the ballgame. Here's the first pitch to him. No, that missed, that's Five ball. runs, seven hits, and one error in the ball game for the Rangers. Swing and a line drive. Foul. The 1-1 one, one home. Taken, strike two. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. The 2 2. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on 3 and 2 because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. He loses him on ball four. The batter, the right fielder. Shin Su Chu will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. Two down, runners at first and second. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. Here's the 0 and 2. And this one's in the dirt. Good work there to prevent any advance. It's one and two. On, 
In the dirt here. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Still even at two and two. As a look, now the pitch. That's the ball. Ronald Guzman would be next. Popped up. Guriel waits on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Jordan Alvarez. A dedicated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. First offering on its way. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. A 2 0 count to the Astros DH. Drill down the line. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. And the Astros get something started right away. It's a leadoff double. The first base number 10. So here's Yuli Gurriel as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Gurriel is slugging north of 480, which puts him among some of the best power hitters in the game in that category. Allard, once an Atlanta Brave, he was acquired via trade last year. I know he'd tell you he'd like to be playing a little bit better, but I think it's as advertised for this ball club right now. I think the manager is getting exactly what they expected. And he won't go after the cut fastball two and two. That's a good pitch to lay off right there, that cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times, if you do swing at that cutter in, you're going to end up with some firewood and a broken bat. And a good throw gets him one gun. The cutter fielder, number four. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a 58 foot curveball that misses for a ball. A line shot to third base. And they got there so quickly the runner didn't get very far from the bag. They settled with just the one out. Ready once again, Carlos Correa. He flew out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim most recently. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. No problem with that take right there. First pitch from a reliever. Got to calibrate that velocity. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Popped him up. Chirinos is under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Stepping in, Ronald Guzman. He'll lead things off as we begin the home fifth. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. A ball and a strike now. The 1-1 home is taken for ball two. And it's two balls and two strikes now. It's funny. That pitch, I can picture being in the box. That pitch looks so good to hit. And why does no one ever get to it? A good executed high fastball usually blows yeah, nine man. out of ten guys away. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Ronald Guzman is retired for the first out in the bottom half of the fifth. Too low, 1-0. One and one to Chirinos. Great job of doubling up with a fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second one time. Two. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. A bouncer up the middle. Altuve fields it cleanly, and there are two away now. 
So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the second baseman, Rugnit Odor. First delivery to him on the way. A ball and no strikes. Hits are even at seven apiece. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. All even now, two and two. Here's the pitch. Wave dad and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. So here's Josh Reddick. He'll start things out now in the top half of the sixth. The right fielder, Josh Reddick. First pitch of the at bat. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Your ball, one strike. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. And a big swing and a miss here, two strikes. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Now back, Pepper, Garrett Stubbs. Standing in now, Garrett Stubbs. And so ground this one fouled off to the left side. Here's the 0-1 skied into very shallow right. Chu has a read on it. And that's the first out of the inning. And here's the left-handed hitting Michael Brantley. He reached on an error and later scored his last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. Rounded softly down the line toward first. But a foul ball here. 0-1. As a look, now the pitch. Back up the middle. Andrus fields it cleanly. On to Guzman. They get them both, and that retires the side. So Elvis Andrus, the next to bat, is looking for hit number three here in this at bat. First pitch coming. Here it is. Outside. That's the ball. Here comes the 1 0. That's the ball. Two point. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. So a full count now. And in a two-run game right here, you really don't want to walk the leadoff guy to start an inning. You've got to keep that time run in the on-deck circle as long as you can. That's the foul ball. Grounded to third. Bregman has it. And there's one away. Ready now, Matt Duffy. It was an RBI double for him in his last turn to the plate. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to save it. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. So two away for the Rangers here in the sixth. And into bat next, former Dodger minor leaguer Willie Calhoun. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. 
hey, a two-out walk right here would be the time run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Swing and a miss, two and two now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Three and two to the Rangers' designated hitter. Joey Gallo would be next. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. The next 3-2. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no 1-2-3 inning here. They've got themselves a two-out base runner. Joey Gallo. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Joey Gallo is at the plate as he looks at ball one. In his career, Gallo is holding on to a batting average. Belted high and deep into right center. Reddick looks up and goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Now to the plate now, Danny Santana. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. A couple of walks for him thus far. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. After it is Brantley. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Digging in, Alex Bregman. He's working on a one for three thus far. Yeah, in his last at bat, he hit a changeup out for a home run. So it'll be interesting this A.B. to see if they give him a steady diet of fastballs. No balls in one strike. And he misses with it one and one. One ball, one strike. Fouled away. The one-two. This is line to left. Gallo is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. Digging in to try it again. Jose Altuve. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. First pitch of the at-bat. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Gallo is right there. And yeah, that's out number two. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Jordan Alvarez. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. A great job pounding his own strike one. When you got a great hitter in the box, you got to get ahead. Count leverage is a must. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. So striding in, Shin Su Chu, a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Changed up on him and dropped it in for a called strike. Here's the 1-1 one -one now to Chu. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Pretty good pitch right here to a left-handed power here. The one thing you want to do, keep the ball inside so he can't get those long arms out and extended. Really good pitcher's pitch right there, even though he didn't get the called strike. So stepping in, Ronald Guzman. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. The pitch. behind 0 and 2 now one out nobody on got him swinging chased it well out of the zone and there are two gone now batting striding into the box Robinson Chirinos he was a ground out victim last time up swing and a miss on the slider nothing in one
ground ball right into the shift. Bregman gloves it. On to the first baseman Guriel, and that will end the inning. So coming to the plate, Yuli Guriel, a hit in two tries for him so far. First offering on its way. That's the ball. One ball, no strike. The 1 0. A swing and a miss, strike one. One and one. And now a curveball that's one, low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Now here's the pitch. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Drives it the other way to deep right. Back goes Chu, but he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. And your go ahead run is in at second base here with a leadoff double. George Springer, the next to hit, fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. 1 and 1. Good idea with the change, but it's 2 and 1. Two balls, no strike. The short hit hard. Andrus has it. Throw on to first in time, one away. Runner at second, one away, and ambling over to the batter's box is Carlos Correa. Carlos Correa. And the indication from the dugout comes, it looks like they're going to put him on intentionally, so that'll set up the double play possibility with one away. Cody Allen gets the call as he'll pitch with one gone in the top of the eighth. Reddick waiting, and now the pitch. Fastball in there for a cold strike. Awesome execution right there. Great pitcher's pitch and an excellent job to get ahead in a tough spot. And it's one and one. The one one home is a fastball down below the knees. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. And that misses for ball four, so the potential go-ahead run moves over to third now. Digging in, Garrett Stubbs. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. First offering on its way. Hey, now he's got me confused up here. This is a known sinker baller out on the mound trying to roll a double play, and he throws him a four-seamer. There's one that misses high. It's one and one. one, one. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate. Really. Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. One run scores. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. The left fielder, number 23. At the plate now, Michael Brantley. He swings and misses. Throw down. Oh, and it's off target, and he'll be safe at third. A ball and a strike to Houston's leadoff batter. One and one. One and two. One and two. The offensive approach here is simple. You know the pitcher's going for the K, so set your sights middle of the plate. And then don't worry about the infielders. They're so close, hard contact is a guaranteed rhythm. Catch is made here in right, and here comes the runner from third. And he will score on the sacrifice fly. Now with the plate, Alex Bregman hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line-out. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like you did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. 
knuckle curve is off the bottom edge. Two balls and no strikes. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Balls, Nothing you no can strikes. do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. And he missed with it there. Ball four. It's a two-out walk with the runner still at third. Nick Goody trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Jose Altuve will be the first one to greet him now as he'll do so with runners at the corners and two out in the inning. From the belt, kicks and deals. There are a couple of points in every game that could decide winning or losing. This is one of those critical spots. Time to make some great pitches. And it's fouled away. Now the one and one pitch. Took something off there as this pitch is in the dirt, but handled quickly behind the plate. The 2 1 home. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play, so the count goes to 2 and 2 now. Has a look, now the pitch. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Roberto Ozuna will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Number 54. Here's Rognet Odor now. He'll have a new pitcher waiting for him as we begin their half of the eighth. Waiting off for Rangers. The second base. He's set. Here it comes. That's a ball. Two and over about. Here comes the two O pitch. And this one will be out of play off to the left. Two and two. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. A full count for Odor. Three balls and two strikes. The 3-2 pitch. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. The batter, number one. Digging in once again, Elvis Andrews. It's been a two-for-four effort for him so far in the ballgame. Here it comes now to Andrews. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1-1. One Lifted in the air out towards left center. On the move is Springer. But he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. And he is in the second base with a double. His third hit this afternoon. The third baseman. At the plate, Matt Duffy. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Sets the target low here, and it misses one and one. From the stretch. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. And he lays off again, ball three. Well, tying run on deck. He should get something really good to hit right here in a 3-1 count. I'd be sitting on a fastball middle end. And that's the second out. Ryan Presley is called upon with two out in the eight the as he's asked to complete a four out save. Really? Willie Calhoun will be his first assignment upon entering as he'll bat with the runner in scoring position here and two away. As a look, now the pitch. Now a fastball on the inside corner and he takes a look at strike one. Breaking ball called just a bit low. Hey, that backdoor breaking ball just missed. He had a chance to run it to 0-2. Two and one. That's 
Three balls and a strike to Willie Calhoun. This is a spot you'd like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. The next 3-2. Now a little dribbler here off to the right side of the mound. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jordan Alvarez. He's homered and doubled in four trips, so he's definitely been a factor. From the stretch, there's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. The first base, Digging ten. in, Yuli Gurriel. So far, two for three in this one. First pitch of the at bat. Bases are empty, one man out. Now he'll foul this one off as well to fall behind here. No balls and two strikes. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Now Settling in now, George Springer. He's working on a one for three thus far. He's set and the pitch. Ball, that's up. One and zero delivery, and he misses again. Two and zero. Two balls, no strike. Over the outside half, and it's two and one. Yank the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. Carlos Correa would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Santana will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Joey Gallo. He'll lead things off here as we play the bottom of the ninth. Hey, not impossible, but highly improbable. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. Owen won the count. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. Now Got him swinging on the fastball there. Joey Gallo is sent packing for the first out in the bottom of the ninth. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Danny Santana comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. And he takes this one high, one and one. And that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. Fastball well outside. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Brentley is there, and quickly two are gone here, and it's not looking good for the home nine. Ready for another shot now. Shin Su Chu. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. First pitch on its way. 
And he'll put this one away. And with that, the ball game is over. Wow, that's eight wins in a row. And it seems like they can't do anything wrong. When you're riding a streak like this, you eat the same food, you drive the ballpark the same way, you do everything the same because you don't want to do anything to jeopardize this streak. And this one concludes at a 10-7 score. Houston came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Rogelio Armenteros gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Ryan Presley gets a four-out save, his fourth of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Fans are final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Astros, 10 runs on 10 hits. No error. They left six men on base. For the Rangers, 